Nine two continue now to continuing coverage. Bishop Richard Lennon has been at the center of many Cleveland Catholics' criticism as he closed and merged over 50 churches in the past two years. Many parishioners and Catholic groups took their complaints to the Vatican, and now this week, those complaints are being investigated. According to the Cleveland Catholic Diocese, Bishop Lennon asked for the investigation. News Channel 5's Alicia Ciccoloni is live now with the details. Alicia, there's a protest going on. That's right, uh, Sarah. It's actually going on here behind me at St. John Cathedral. And I know it's a little hard to see with the traffic going by, but there are dozens of people out here from numerous churches who say they do not agree with Bishop Lennon's decisions. And they meet here every Wednesday to protest. Bishop Lennon uh, actually is standing by his actions in closing churches, but it's now up to a bishop from New Jersey to help make the final decision. For Catholics across the Cleveland area, these signs, protests, and tears consumed them as Bishop Richard Lennon proposed a consolidation plan and then put it into place over the past two years. Patricia Singleton is the president of Endangered Catholics. It's a coalition of parishes in Cleveland who have filed appeals to the Vatican. Singleton says when Bishop Anthony Pillow left and Bishop Lennon was appointed, she knew there was going to be a big difference in how the Cleveland Diocese would be run. Bishop Lennon's style is a bit different. <clears throat> doesn't open up as much and uh, my personal belief is that if you're in that uh, role of leadership you need to be able to communicate. In his plan, Bishop Lennon merged or closed over 50 churches. We, we tried to speak with him, to have dialogue with him, meaningful dialogue, and we were pretty much up against a wall with him. Singleton says after numerous complaints were sent to the Vatican from all over Cleveland, she is comforted knowing they sent another bishop, John Smith, to help investigate the complaints. She met with Bishop Smith just yesterday. It was a good feeling to be listened to and to be understood without being scolded or um, thought badly of. Um, it was just a very, very nice meeting. He, he understood. He, he understood uh, and was compassionate and is sincerely uh, wants to do an objective investigation on why he is, is sent here. As I said, there are groups that meet here every Wednesday at the cathedral downtown from 4 to 6 p.m. They all hope that by doing this, something will turn around from the investigation, but that will all be determined once the presentation and investigation is done by Bishop Smith and handed over to the Vatican. Right now, there is no timetable on any of this. We are told that Bishop Smith will be leaving Cleveland at the end of the week. Live in Cleveland, Alicia Zicoloni, News Channel 5.